Welcome everyone, Team 7, well, not so much of a team, just, just the 7, uh, on an adventure, coming to you from Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, we're right here by the, uh, by the future Skyliner station, I figured, I had to walk, I'm trying to lose some weight walking around, I figured, why don't I come here, walk a little bit, make a video, I find this stuff interesting, I thought, maybe you might too, so, uh, decided to record it all, and, uh, package it up, and put it on YouTube, and, here we are. Well, this is uh, Hollywood Studios Skyliner Station right here. Cur also, I believe out of the two, well, out of the four or five stations, I believe this one is. This one in Epcot might be further along than the rest. So, we'll start here at uh, Hollywood Studios. Let's see. This is right here. I'll be uh, headed to the other parks and uh, jumping on the buses to head out to the resorts so we can see all the rest. Okay, so this is where the skyline is going to be coming in from uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach. Also, I believe it'll be passing by the new uh, the new Auto Plaza. All right. yeah, currently under construction too is a new Auto Plaza that they're building coming in uh, off of Osceola Parkway. It's going to be the one and only way to enter into Disney's Hollywood Studios when it's done so um, you don't hear too much about that either no. yeah you don't hear too much about that but uh, that's also coming here to uh, Disney's Hollywood Studio in fact on the way in I took a picture of it um, I'll just put it up right here okay off we go we're gonna we're actually gonna walk to Epcot from Hollywood Studios so uh, we'll walk across and uh, take a look at everything Everything we can see from the path. Walkway to the boardwalk. Also, too, when I edit this video uh, to post it up on YouTube, I'm gonna I'm gonna add the map to it to show you exactly where these stations are uh, in relation to the map, so uh, you can see exactly what station I'm talking about and where it's located on the Walt Disney World property. Um, I know that's a lot, considering I consider myself the world's laziest editor, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna do that just for you. Just for you, that's what I'm gonna do. So you can get a, a, a better understanding, a better idea of where these stations are. Of course, just seeing it pop up on the video, this station, that station, um, probably won't make any sense. Also, someone was asking about boat service and uh I believe they continued it I believe <laughs> I believe it's running again now does it go all the way to Epcot I don't know I'll find out when I get there and I'll also answer that question for you also but uh there it is the uh, Freedom Ferry I should say the Friendship Ferry I'm terrible. You already know I'm, ter I'm terrible with names and remembering things. The Friendship Ferry. <laughs> this area right here, I believe, is going to be the Bend Station. This is going to be where the uh, Sky Flyer comes in from Epcot. It's going to come into the station and it's going to bend. 90 degrees and then go down Buena Vista Drive headed towards uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach and yeah, this station is uh, not nearly as far along as Hollywood Studios Hear that? that doesn't sound good. The boy's gonna get wet. But anyway, to answer your question about the Friendship Ferry, continuing service to Epcot, the answer is yes. Yes, it is. So here's uh here's the Epcot station. I thought it would be uh, a lot further along considering when they put all these walls up right here. I thought this would be a lot further along. Um, 
They don't even have a topper on it. Anything. I thought it'd be way further along than this. Also, too, if you look over here, you can also see the uh, the construction for the Ratatouille ride, the Ratatouille show building. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gondola is gonna pass right by. How? Where should I put it? Oh, not as far along as I thought they would be, considering they put this wall up. A long time before they started all that construction in Hollywood Studios, so. Um, I know it's an end station, but so is Hollywood Studios, so you figure, yeah, yeah. But anyway, time to head back towards uh, Hollywood Studios and uh, jump on a bus, make my way to the, uh, to Pop Century Art of Animation and Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort to check out the other station and see how, how far along they have come. Okay, as you can see, we are at Disney's Pop Century. Art of Animation is just on the other side. And the little bridge in between is called the Generation Gap. Of course, those of you that know what the Art of Animation was originally, Phase two of Pop Century, it's supposed to be the uh, legendary years, golden years and the legendary years. Oh, I got that right. But anyway, here's also where they're building the, uh, where they're building the, uh, the station for uh, Disney Skyliner. Right on Generation Gap Bridge. This is where the station's gonna be. It's gonna come across. I already got the pylons going in. Tram's gonna come across from Disney's Caribbean Beach. I believe that's gonna be a little transfer station at Caribbean Beach. Uh, there's a huge, huge facility they're building there. It's gonna be the biggest station out of all of them. Is a conceptual artwork what the station is going to look like. It's a picture of it going over the water. And we are right here. That is uh, two stops you can see. You can see there was two stops at Disney's Caribbean Beach. You got the little transfer stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, and then you have uh, the other stop at uh, Disney's Riviera Resort, which is the new tower that they're building there. I believe it's for Disney Vacation Club. So, um, to be honest with you, I haven't even seen anything going on. <laughs> I mean, I'm in there quite a bit uh, with work. I'm driving in and out of uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach quite a bit. I haven't seen anything that resembles a tram station next to Disney's Riviera Resort, but uh, we're gonna go check. So here we are, Disney's Caribbean Beach. I do stand corrected. Uh, on the way in, on the bus, I seen uh, I seen the construction for the for the Skyliner stop uh, just to the uh, right of uh, the new Disney's Riviera Resort. So there is a station up there. Small one, but there is a station. So, well, I don't know how small it's actually going to be, but right now it doesn't look so big. So, but here we are at uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach, and uh, this part right here is going to be this is definitely going to be the storage facility and uh, maintenance facility for all the gondolas because this one is this one is look for yourself. It's definitely going to be some kind of storage facility, storage building, maintenance. That'll be the stop right there, most likely. 
headed towards uh, Generation Gap Bridge. But that's definitely going to be some kind of storage and maintenance facility. Also, too, you got the new entrance. Is this Caribbean Beach? That's coming along also. There's one of the pillars right here. Right in the middle of the buildings. Good thing about this resort is uh, you really don't have to theme the roof. You don't have a flat roof, so. It really won't look funny from uh, that angle. And of course, here we are at uh, the Aruba section at Disney's Caribbean Beach. And as you can see behind me, that's going to be the Skyliner Station for uh, Disney's Riviera Resort, which is also under construction. The Riviera Resort. This also looks like it's going to be a bend. Oh yeah, it's also going to be a a bend station where the gondolas will come in and make a about a 90 degree bend and head in the other direction coming from uh it's gonna be coming from epcot coming into epcot going out towards uh disney's caribbean beach out of animation pop century and i would believe that other station that we just saw also you'd have to switch there to head over to hollywood studios you'd have to change get off and then uh get on another gondola headed in the direction of Hollywood Studios but uh there it is an update on the construction of all the Skyliner stations um, been running around for three and a half hours I did not get wet even though right now a lot of thunder and lightning in the area so we'll see you know? anyway I hope you liked it if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of this kind of stuff uh, just leave it in the comments any ideas any suggestions I'll be more than happy to uh, to consider any uh, reasonable suggestion you might have. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing does help the channel. If you want to be notified every time we upload a video, just hit the notification icon right next to the subscribe button. And until the next adventure, deuces.